That's what helped direct me this because when I was going to college, University of Arizona, my background was pre-med and uh, chemistry and biology. So I had a chemical and biological background. And when I decided, let me, what am I gonna get into? What am I gonna do now that I've decided that I'm not no longer you know, in, the business, in the business world? Uh, I thought, you know what, water. Because people die because of water and there's a lot of things going on with water that people are not really aware of. After all this time and all these years, people really know very little about water in respect, to, uh, they just assume they've been drinking it for such a long time, okay, I drank it when I was four years old and now I'm 32 or 48 or whatever and I'm drink, still drinking uh, this water. But they haven't looked at it or really realized what may be in that water. And what's really astounding to people, what really amazes them is that a lot of the protection that you and I have uh, in reference to drinking water standards and water quality uh, at different levels, most of that was put in place before World War II, before the atomic bomb. So all this legislation that you see to protect us was way back then. And there's very little, little has been done to really protect us against the modern or the, the chemical world that we're in or our environment today. And, uh, and a lot of people will drink the water and, and consume it and think that they're very well protected and it's perfectly fine when uh, it's, it's really not.